everybody welcome back today is our final halloween project i actually squeezed another one in so if you haven't seen it yet it is loaded up it's little treat bags to make um at the last final sheets of my paper and so i thought we would make some kind of a loaded something um and these always don't ever turn out like I don't want to say like you expect but what I will say is that when you're making them it's like you decide as you're going oh I'm going to add this oh I'm going to add this oh I'm going to put this so there's not a lot of specific measurements that I can give you I will give them to you as we go along but for the main base and for the front I do have measurements for those pockets so let me give those to you so the first thing you want to start off with is a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you want to score it three and three quarters and nine and a half okay and then you're just going to flip this around and at the very bottom of your paper you are going to score at three quarters that's to give your bottom a nice clean look okay so what I do is I like to fold my bottom in first and give it a good press and where's my bone folder here it is give it a good press this is really um, great paper so it's not going to rip or tear on you and then I will fold in my edges here and I know I sometimes hold the, the bone folder and things weird. It's because of my hands. Sometimes they hurt and today they're hurting. Um, usually when it's going to rain, they hurt. Okay, so now this is what the back looks like. So I kind of like it. I don't know if I like it that way or that way. It doesn't really matter, but I think I like it this way, to be honest. So I'm going to run some glue along the edge of this and then have it attached to this. Now you can use score tape and we are going to use some score tape um, in one area, but I don't feel the need for score tape in this area. I know someone asked about this glue when they saw one of my videos. May does have it in stock. Um, it's a great glue she has other glues too as i'm sure you guys probably know if you visited crafting on a budget store.com so there i'm just going to put a thin strip of glue and i'm going to fold this down i like this glue because it is fast drying okay there we go a little like hang mark on that piece of paper there okay all right let me just put a pin in this so that it stays um if you don't it sometimes gets the top gets clogged now what i decided to do was i'm going to fold this up three inches okay so this is going to be a pocket but before i glue this down i want to glue some other pockets in place because i want more than one pocket so the first one i'm going to do is five and three quarters by four actually they're both the same size they're just going to be glued in different locations so you need two five and three quarters by five and see now I have a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket here so I'm just going to glue three sides of this and you'll, you'll start seeing as it comes together what I mean by all these pockets so for right now I'm gonna bring that down I probably should have put the other one down first but yeah well I'll lift this one up because I am going to put this one down mm, probably about like I don't know let me measure that for you 
it's because it's all layering so it's kind of yeah three uh two and a half inches so let me glue this one down first and then i'll put some more glue on the other sides um because this one should have went down first but sometimes you don't know where it needs to go until you position that other one so i'm going to say around two and a half inches i'm going to place that one okay and then i'm going to go back and glue the sides of this one again because the glue is already dried out All right. Now, for this, because it's so thick, I am going to not only put score tape, but I'm also going to put glue. the back yet oh when I, I went over that's okay what I'll do is I'll just peel that over whenever you go over on your glue instead of cutting it like see how I went over there I just push it down it gives it some extra glue extra tape I should say all right Let's get these pieces out of my way and then i am going to add some glue as well only because this really has to hold it's got a lot of layers of paper okay so there we have the beginnings so as you can see now if you look with me we have a pocket here, we have one behind here, one behind here, one behind here, and then we have this pocket, this big, bigger pocket, okay? Now, I did cut a piece of paper to cover this because I do have a seam here, so I did want to cover that, and if you want to know the dimensions of this, this is five and a half by two and three quarters. And I am just going to glue that down. There we go. Okay. And then I am going to add another one of those little scallop things that I made. And I'm going to put October 31st. So I just used two punches for that one, a circle punch and a scallop punch. This October 31st is, I believe, in the ephemera. I don't know if it's in the, um, there is something, I think it's pumpkins in the actual paper one. And I'll just put this guy here. Cute. Now, a lot of people like to cut this down and kind of curl it over so that you can see the inside of this. So if you choose to do that, which I am going to do, I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that. But I first want to mark the middle as best as I can. And I am terrible at measuring anything. So it will just be whatever I say it is. <laughs> and you could be more precise Yeah, because this is five and three quarters. I don't know what half of five and three quarters is. Um, what I could do is just, no, I can't. Half of five and three quarters. This is five and three quarters. That's five and a half. I was going to say, if I had a strip, 
Alexa, what's half of five and three quarters? Half of 5.75 is 2.875. Mm. Okay, 2.875. So that isn't going to help me much. Um, Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, dismiss. Uh, well, we're just going to have to wing it, guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a scrap of paper. Because I don't like to. I'm going to take a scrap of paper. And I'm going to cut it at five and three quarters. I'm going to fold it in half. And that will be where I mark my half. And this is just one of the selvage ends of the paper. So, okay. Put this down. And this is where it is, right here. Okay. And I'm going to cut this. Okay. Now, some people will take a pencil and they'll roll to the, where they um, cut. Um, some people just like to lay it flat. I'll roll it and we'll see if it's going to stay once I add the glue to it. So I think we're going to need to use more of our tape glue. And um, take it from there. So I'll put a little piece of tape and I'm going to... It looks like I'm using a big piece, but I'm actually going to kind of double it on top of it, each other, so that it's stronger. And then I'm going to fold that down. And then I'm going to even take my bone folder and just give it a press under there. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So if it looks like I'm using a big piece, I... I am using a piece that's way bigger than it needs to be, but I'm folding it over for the extra glue, the extra tape. So I'll take that off. See, it's already coming up. Mm. I wonder if I put some glue on it too. Let's see if the glue helps. Let's hold that down for a second. Paper that the paper doesn't like to be that curled. Let's see what can I do with this one? Try and curl it a little bit more. Let's see if that one stays. Maybe I just need to curl it a little bit more. Mm. And it's staying better with the glue. So let's add some glue also. But it's a little fussy. This part is a little fussy. I'm not going to lie. So don't worry about it. Just go with it. All right, that one's staying. This one's staying. All right, I think we got them staying, so that's good. Um, I just might, just might cut this one little trim in case the paper feels like it's pulling. You know, I just don't want it to be feel like it's pulling okay so that looks cute so now what's left is let's start loading it that's the whole premise behind these is a it's a loaded envelope so I took out a bunch of stuff that I had left so that we could start loading it so let me 
me see here. I got this. I can put my boo here. And then behind there. Oh, wait, I got another behind there first. <laughs> I'm using up some of the journaling cards. And then I'll use some bigger pieces. Mm, that's not going to fit. Yeah, we could put that one like that. And we could put her here. I love her. And then we have our back pocket back there, which we're not going to be able to put too much because of our, um, yeah, maybe do I put a spell on you? So see, we're not really even seeing that much of that, but that's okay. I'm going to put my little kitty, well, let me put that somewhere else. Did I use the back? No, I didn't use the back of that one yet. Okay. So I might want to put some tags too. So let me... I thought I can use some of these scraps to make tags. And just cut them. And if I want to staple on some... Staple on some ribbon. Use that one as a tag. I can use... See, and I'm making them all different heights. And that one that can stay. There's three tags. But you see how easy this is once you do it. Now, I mean, you can make you can make this very over the top, but I don't really feel the need to. I just want to I just want it to look cute when you're looking down at it I want it to look cute and I'm using that Halloween ribbon I got at um, Dollar Tree nothing special I you know I like getting the the ribbons from Dollar Tree because they're seasonal and if you go to like Joann's or you know someplace like that sometimes they're expensive you know, and if you're just making a Halloween project, you know, do you really want expensive ribbon? I mean, does it really matter? I don't think so. I'm just twisting it, as you can see, because I do want the ribbon to be, you know, facing both sides. Okay. Um, we'll just, and this makes a mess on your desk. I'm not going to lie. You got a lot of stuff happening here. But see, like this one could go back here. And this one. You know, maybe I'll move her. So kind of like this here. Yeah, that can go there. And then I did have a space because I still didn't fill the space behind this piece so I can go here with this one but you see how cute this is that one's flying out of the way there so let's add some more stuff to the back we can add the hocus pocus um, there's a journaling card we can add there too I'm going to put a few journaling. There's a scary moments. I already have this one in there. So I will add another journaling card. I might want to add another um, longer bookmark. So we'll add that. Let's just staple this. tails okay 
So you see how it's just, it's just loaded. It's loaded with cute things. Now, what I might want to do is I do have some flowers left, so I might want to add some flowers to some of my pieces. But can you see how it looks? How cute it is. Sorry, I didn't know you weren't in frame there, but it, it just is so sweet. I just love it. And I mean, we could go crazy and just keep adding, you know, which I don't have a problem with. <laughs> I do not have a problem with doing that. And that's how I'm doing. I think I want that over there. Maybe add this to the back. We'll see. I usually don't put a ton of stuff in the back. Let me just add this. I'll add a flower. Just have a few left, so. Add a few. My kitty's crying. It's okay. And I might put a flower. No, I don't want that one there. Might put one here. On her. But you see how easy this is, guys. It's just, you know, using up your scraps or your, um, I don't know if I like this color in here. So I might switch that out. Well, I know I'm going to switch it out. I don't know what I'm going to switch it out with yet, but um, maybe a bingo card. Where was that? You start losing track of where you're at here with this. Yeah, I like this better. Tricks and treats. It's cute. And then, you know, when the person gets it, they have this cute, you know thing just to take out every little thing that they want it's so cute now the back i was thinking of putting this scary moments you could journal on that and i might put a flower back there too now some people put a pocket back here you could put a pocket back here if you want to. It's, you know, it's your project. You do what you want to do. I think I just like it like that, personally. Um, I think I want one more tag. I'm going to use this one. I guess I'll use this. Like I said, I'm just using all, like, the, all, from all the projects that we trimmed paper off of, that's what all this paper is from, uh, aside from the journaling cards and, of course, the ribbon. That's what all this is. So you're really utilizing all your scraps. Oh, pulling out all my other stuff. <laughs> Maybe I'll we'll put that one like that. Get that one in the middle. There we go. And then we got our 
journaling card, our little hocus pocus. This guy I need to stick in somewhere because I just love that cat. I wonder if I could put him. No, it's going to cut into that. I don't want to do that. Then I have this, which I might put back here. Look. That way you can see some paper back here as well. I might put this little guy. Just, you know, adding little bits and pieces wherever. We can even take this. I thought we could fold this. Didn't do a very good job, did I? It says I should have used the scoreboard. There we go. Put this. Yeah, we could put him there. See, this opens, and then there's the 31 there. And see, hmm, you want to stick that up here too? I have room, it's getting, getting thick, which I like. And I like to adjust them so that they're like you know, it's like sprouting, sprouting out all its things. There we go. That. All right, I love that. And then I do have, I made these. These are little flowers that my friend sent me. Um, Joyce sent me these, and I just stuck them to uh, straws. And I might want to stick one of those in here. Again, it's pushing everything down. But I like that. That's cute. And then I have another one drawing here in orange. And I wonder. Put the orange one. Kind of like that. I just want to make sure you can kind of see everything and as you can see it gets big but look at how easy how sweet I mean I, I just think it's adorable I, I think it's a great way to use up all your scraps and you know some people make flips they do all kinds of things I just made a very easy one um, to use up my scraps I do have this word pumpkins up here I wonder if that could fit there. Oh, uh, yeah, that's cute. I'll put that back there just so I could use that up. Oh, and I did want to use, I have a little bit of um, candy from the ephemera. Where'd my candy go? I'll have a lollipop, two lollipops. So I could put those there. I don't want to ruin the uh, journaling part too much, you know, so you can see it. I do have some candy corn, but I don't know if I'm going to use the candy corn. But I could put a little heart on my boo. Put it there. A little heart. I could go on my boo. And then, what else do I have? Not much. I have a heart here. 
That could go on the I put a spell on you. And you see, you're just adding what you have left. That's it. That's all we're doing here. It's not a gold one. I think I'll pass on the gold one. Unless I want to put it like right there. Yeah. But look at how stinking adorable. I just love it. I really do. And then I do have these candy corns. So let me see if maybe I could kind of stick them. Yeah. I'll put some glue under there. And then I'll put some glue under here. And we have one more. Probably put this one on top. I like things in threes and this little baby one. So put that there. There's a little candy corn. I love it. It is loaded. Lots of things. Every I utilized every pocket. I'm just making sure. I utilized every section, and I did. Oh, believe me, I did. There we go. I love it. I think it's perfect as it is. You can also, if you wanted to really load it, you can make, you can take pieces of paper um, and fold them in half to make brackets. So it would be the, the size of whatever your pocket is, and then you'd make a hinge. And you'd glue one side to your pocket, the other side to the page, and that would give you a little gusset there so that you could um, use that. I also want to put one of my witch's hats. That was the only thing I had a lot of left because I didn't use a lot of these. But you never know. <laughs> you never know what I'll use these for next. These are just so cute. I love them. All right. My seam binding. I wanted to put the seam binding through it. Oh, you know what? It's not going to fit through it because it's going to keep coming out. Unless I tie it. Let's see. Yeah, I think I could. I was wondering why it kept slipping, and that's the reason. There we go. And then I wanted to put like a little knot at the top here. Like my fingers would cooperate. That would be nice. I just wanted a little charm. And I thought I would tuck it in this pocket so that my little witch's hat hangs off. Oh, yeah, I like that. Look at how cute. Oh, I love that. I think that just added to it. So there you have it, guys. A loaded Halloween pocket. Now you can use this type of dimension for anything that you want to do um just keep loading it up i mean there's still room if you wanted to put some more stuff back there i mean we could put another journaling card back here and i could put yeah I'll put the both of them so whoever gets this which is my daughter of course um she can just journal about her Halloween and if we wanted to add the hocus pocus we could I'm just using all my paper as you can see put that like that and there you have it I mean it's pretty 
you look at from the side, it's pretty loaded. It has a lot of stuff in it. And I just think these are so cool. I don't know who came up with the idea. I didn't come up with this idea. I see people doing similar stuff like this all the time. And I just love it. So this concludes our Halloween series. I am sorry to see it go. But we did do a lot of projects. We did. Let's see what we started with. I, I even forget now. My daughter has them all in her room. We did the little mini book. We did the accordion book. We did the triple layer explosion box. We did the treat bags. We did this project. I think that's it. I think that's all we did. I'm not quite sure. Feels like we did more. <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe that was it. I think that might have been it. It was a lot though because I used a lot of paper. I think I have. I do. I have one 12 by 12 left and I have a few six by six. I have a couple of flowers left. You saw I have three witches hats left and I have some journaling cards left and just some random shaped pieces of paper left. But other than that, that's it guys. That's all I have left. Here's another pumpkins another piece of ephemera I have but I did use um, I did use almost all of it so but I do still have some leftovers I don't know you know what I would use with them or what I would make and since Halloween is this weekend I just think that we're going to leave it as as this and this will be the final project and I hope you enjoyed it guys and again Please don't just think of these projects for Halloween. I mean, think of them for every occasion. This would be so cute as a Valentine with all sentiments of how much you love somebody. This would be adorable for a teacher with all kinds of different note cards so that she could jot stuff, even a post-it pad, a little, you know, you could put a, a little tiny five by seven, probably. Let me just see. Hold on. Yeah. You could put a 5x7 in the back here. A 5x7 notepad back there. And you could gear it all towards teacher. You know, maybe put some tea bags in there. Maybe put some instant coffees or crystal light packages or something like that. You know, don't think of it just as loading it with paper. You know, put make it for the person you're making it for this would be a cute get well thing to maybe you know put some you know fun fun little things in there and in the big one have some candy or you know bags of candy you know stuff like that but there's so many things you can do with this and there's so many variations so if you go online and you google i'm sure that you are going to find so so many different ones and you're going to be like, wow, she was, I'm going to put this black thing here. And you're going to be like, wow, she was right. Everybody's doing these. <laughs> but uh, you've probably already seen a bunch of these anyway. If, you, if you're watching YouTube, you probably already saw a bunch of those. Um, but yeah, just gear it to who you're giving it to. You know, um, you could put gift cards in there too, which would be fun. Um especially for older kids like I know my daughter you know for Christmas she's 23 she's going to want gift cards she's not going to really want gifts you know per se she'd rather pick out her stuff herself so you know you know think of things like that load it up with some gift cards you know if you're doing the teacher thing maybe put a little um Starbucks gift card in there for some coffee or something you know there's just the possibilities are endless and it's so much fun as you can see and you could just keep adding I mean I could sit here and just be fiddling around with all these things and saying oh let me add more and let me do this let me do that and I have to at some point say stop which I'm going to um, but just you know use your imagination be creative and I know that you will come up with something that is absolutely spectacular. And I can't wait to see what you do. 
when you do projects, guys, please post them on crafting on a budget, facebook.com. Make sure you do all your shopping at crafting on a budget store.com. And, you know, we'd love to see what you make with the stuff that we're, sh we're showing you how to do. You know, it's always really nice when you show somebody an idea and then somebody posts what they made and it, it's similar or different. And it's just, it's so nice to see that. So I would love to see your creations. I'd love to see what you do. And I hope that you have enjoyed this Halloween series. I know I have. It's been a lot of fun. Again, don't just think of it for Halloween. Think of it for every other occasion as well. And you guys know what I'm going to say, as I always do. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye for now.